In this Squint Experiments video, we will be doing acid-base reactions using chemicals found around the house. Acid-base reactions, we've talked about them before, but it involves two types of chemicals, acids and bases. These chemicals react very well together. So the point of this experiment is to see what kinds of liquids lying around the house and in our fridge are more acidic than others. And so to test that, we will choose one common base to use, which we'll use baking soda or sodium bicarbonate. We'll put a tablespoon of baking soda in uh, each of the five balloons that we have. And then we'll fill up our bottles halfway with the different liquids that we have chosen. When we're ready for them to react, we will cover the mouth of the bottle with a balloon, shake the baking soda into the acid, and when baking soda reacts with acid, it forms a gas, forms carbon dioxide. And what's great is you can see visually, the more it's reacting, the more gas it's making. And if it's reacting a lot, that means it's very acidic. And so the bigger your balloon gets, the more acidic your liquid was. So the first liquid we will use is vinegar, vinegar with baking soda, and as you can see, as they react, we form a lot of bubbles, a lot of gas. That means that vinegar is very acidic, or it is definitely an acid with a lot of gas being made. The second liquid is lime juice, and we can see once again lime juice, lots of bubbles, very acidic. Uh, one thing to note, acids are typically very sour, and so if something is sour like vinegar and lime, it's probably very acidic. The third liquid is milk, fourth is hot sriracha sauce, ooh spicy, and the fifth one is caprisin because why not? As you can see these last three aren't very acidic. The hot sauce is slightly acidic. You can see some small amount of bubbles, uh, but it doesn't blow up the balloon a whole lot. The other two, not very much at all. So for other acid-based reactions around the house, alkyl seltzer tablets or effervescent tablets are wonderful for this. Tablet contains both an acid and a base, and it doesn't react until you add it to water. And in these experiments, we chose to use baking soda as a base. There are other bases around the house, like uh, soaps and detergents, but uh, some of them could be a little dangerous for your health if you react them. And so I recommend sticking with baking soda as your base and then just choosing other liquids that you see around the house to see if they're acidic. So thanks for watching and make sure you turn in next time for more Invisible Science. One, one, yeah, good job. One, two, three.